Oh no, it's just loading the area outside. Oh, we did activate a cutscene though. Dude! Oh! <laughs> he's freaking out! Oh my god. No wonder people can't get a scale from this guy. Look at him, he's spouting fire everywhere. He's like, SPEW! Dude, oh my god. <laughs> the stairs are falling behind me, but they're falling at the same pace I'm running. So... Well, I can't go back now. That sucks. Can I fall off? Uh, yeah, I can. And into the clouds there, the Death Mountain clouds. Jeez, all the, all the times you see those clouds in Ocarina of Time, you never expect that, you'll be, that you might be able to fall into them someday. Of course, it's not like these are the same clouds, it's just the same kind of cloud formation. Whatever. Alright. Uh-oh. What, what are you butt munches doing? <laughs> let go of my girl! I said, let go of her! Let her free! Let her free! These guys ain't so bad. Not even with shields. These crappy wooden shields. Tetra was talking about decrepit old shields in the past, and look at these now. Man. What you got? Alright, is it gonna open now? Uh-oh. A card rock with a moblin in hand. Dude, moblins are too, are too fat. They can't be carried into battle like this. Oh, but apparently they can. And you're gonna learn to hate... It. Wait, get the joy pendant! Aww. The joy pendant flashed away. Alright. Alright, boom! Look at that. Alright, be careful here. He's gonna try to punch you, if, so I recommend just trying to slash him as quickly as possible. Yeah. Nice. That guy actually usually gives me a lot more trouble than that. I don't know. <laughs> Man. Medley looked so vacant there when she when the gate opened. Ooh, what's this? You got a skull necklace! Dude, it's like a skull, but it's a, it's a necklace. It's like one of those candy necklaces. This rather off-putting accessory would appear to be of little value, but shown to the right person is apparently of great worth. So there's some masochist out there who loves collecting, like, jewelry in the f in the form of human skulls. Well, that's just pleasant to know, isn't it? This game is so cutesy, but there's, there's a lot of dark things in it, I tell you. Argon, you came to rescue me. Oh, thank you. I have to tell you what I found out. This is terrible! Some creature is doing awful things to the Great Valu's tail. That's why he's so angry. Oh, did they put a butt plug in? Oh, he's having a temper tantrum. The Great Valu's tail hangs into the room below here. There's got to be something in there. I wonder if the mean monsters who capture me have something to do with it. That line is so stupid. The mean monsters. <laughs> we've got so we've got to do something. Now! Before too late. Also, before the third day is up, is what you're saying. Here, Argon, use this to get out of here. It's what I used to get this far. It's a device we Rito used before we evolved wings. Let's see, man. Oh, you got the grappling hook! This was an item used by the Rito people before they had wings. Like she just said. Use this item to latch onto anything with a spiky ring on it. You can even use it to haul things up from the sea floor. And that's how you do treasure charts. Here, Argon, climb up on that ledge over there so I can show you something. Wait, if you had wings, why did you need the grappling hook to get this far? I don't know. Maybe just for extra insurance? Who knows? Dude, I want this machete. It's sitting on the stairs just beckoning me to pick it up. How can you not? Oh, Link just drops it as the cutscene activates. Grab this branch with the grappling hook and you can swing over there without to get out of this area. When you aim at the branch, you can latch onto that. Yeah. Don't worry about you? How much how can I not worry about you when you're up here with a like a fire breathing dragon? Well I guess you can talk to him or something like Aragon, you can talk to the dragon. No wait, the dragon's name is Aragon. What's the guy's name again? I don't even remember. It's not a Treyu, that's the never ending story I'm thinking of. I always notice this, but like, this, like, hook thing right here, I don't know if you noticed in the animation there, but the grappling hook always tends to wrap around that a lot more than it does in any other hook. Whoa, look at this guy, he reminds me of Frog Fuchsius. Hmm. Who knows. And now you can never get back up there, because the stairs crumbled away and they'll never return. Not in a million billion years, you can wait there until the dawn of a new day, and you'll see nothing. Alright, what you actually want to do, though, is head over this way and get, um... I think the boss key is actually over here. The big key, damn it! Oh my god. I promised myself I was going to call it by its right name, which is the big key in this game. Not the boss key. And I've already screwed that up before even coming upon the big key. I'm so bad. 
course everyone screws that up. So. And I'm not better than anyone or everyone, so. Jeez. <laughs> Look at this guy. Huh? Oh. Well, that just spoiled the moment, didn't it? <laughs> He's like, if I go down, I'm taking you with me. Eh. Can't be stealing moves from Andros now. Oh, he's doing the same thing. Except I didn't fall this time. So, ha ha, I can laugh at you now. Whoa. This guy's like, what did you do, my little buddy? He was just, he was hanging perilously, reaching for you. It was like Mufasa. And then you just, you just knocked him off with your sword. And that would suck, being hanging like that, grasping for dear life, and then just getting denied the right to live by a sword on your fingertips. Wow, that would be horrible. It's horrible. -ble 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 -ble. All right, so you gotta knock down this bridge, I think, by cutting the ropes. Whee! There you go. Is this a joy pendant? I swear to God, if it is, I hope it's a key. Damn it! Okay. And I don't know if you saw, but that other guy up there that I killed, he dropped a joy pendant too. I wonder if the one that fell in the lava dropped a joy pendant. We'll never know now. I gotta adjust my microphone. Let me see. Let me see here. I think that's a bit better. My microphone has a tendency to move during recordings. Mostly because I'm like moving my head about, swaying it to and fro. I whip my head back and forth. I whip my head back and forth. There you go. Be sure to cut all three of those ropes at the same time, otherwise, real life physics will take over and you'll fall to your doom. To your doom and destruction and peril and beef. Press L to beef. <laughs> oh, anyone know that? Alright. 199 rupees. Man. Oh, jeez, look, we're back in this room. I should have recognized the fire pillar, but I forgot. And there's this grappling hook thing. I, th I think this is another one that the grappling hook wraps around like three times before it latches. Yeah, look at that. That, that might be four times, actually. Alright, whoa. But the keys is gonna kill me. The keys is gonna kill me. Oh, I guess not. Oh, I had nothing to worry about. I think the grappling hook can actually kill keys too. Let me let me try that. Yup, there you go. So that's your ranged weapon for now. It doesn't work on many monsters, just like little ones like keys, and it might work on chew jellies too. I don't know. All right, if you ever head over to that platform, like this ledge over here that I'm swinging towards, there's actually nothing there right now. But if I've read right and I've heard right and stuff. If you have the ability to use the Tingle Tuner, which I will eventually here, because someone did send me the cables, thank you, General Wodai, for sending me those cables, which I haven't gotten yet, but I'm sure I'll get them soon enough. Yeah, but if you have the Tingle Tuner there, you can do something there, and I think you make a Tingle Statue appear. Apparently there's a Tingle Statue in every one of these dungeons, and I'm going to be trying to show all those off. I don't know what you get if you get all of them. Probably just rubies or something. Who knows? Anyways... Alright. Uh, oh, we got more magtails in here. These enemies are cool, though. I like them. like them a lot. I wish they were in, like, more Zelda games than just this one. I'm pretty sure this is the only game that the magtails are in. But you don't want to kill this guy, actually. You want to use him, kind of like Princess Ruto, to press down this switch. And that'll open the fire to the most ornate chest I've ever seen in my life. Wow. It almost looks like a head. And it's opening up, it's like, ah. It's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, open me and get the big key. Use it to gain entrance to the room where the dungeon's boss lurks. Lurks. <laughs> lurks is such a fun word to say. Yeah. And if you do happen to kill this guy like that, instead of using him to press on the switch, he will respawn from the lava, I think. Won't he? Maybe he won't now because I actually got the boss key already, I don't know. Yeah, but if you do kill him and flub it up, then he will respawn. I, I've seen it happen. I know what happens. Alright, hello. You weren't here last time. Jeez, man. Jeez, Louise. What is that? Alright. Oh, I was scared there. <laughs> that was a little bit precarious. Oh, that was even more precarious. Jeez, I'm jumping between these platforms like it's nothing. But I shouldn't be. Dude, where... <laughs> Did you see that? That was ridiculous. My grappling hook just chased that keys like all around the room. <laughs> it like went back to one side of the room and my grappling hook followed it. It was like a homing hook. 
I've never seen that happen. I didn't know that could happen. I thought you would just miss and it would Link would recoil the hook towards him. Didn't know it would just chase him until it hit him. It's kind of funny. Alright, so we'll exit through the mouth here. Yeah, these are teeth, by the way. If you look at this one, like, another angle, you can actually see that it's a mouth. Wow. I just burned my butt. Uh, ashes to ashes, butts to butts. Alright, dude, get out of here. Oh my god. At least the fire keys can't burn my shield in this game. Even though my shield is, it's like, apparently made of wood, I think. Still can't burn it. It might be made of metal. I'm not even sure. Right, wow, perfect timing. Dude, oh my god. Why is it lagging? There was like an instant of lag there. The GameCube never lags, man. That was retarded. I think that might be what disturbs me about that one scene with the water spout at the very beginning of Dragon Roost Cavern. Like, remember I was talking about how it was just weird and it doesn't fit in with the rest of the game? I think that's kind of what I was talking about, is that it, um, it lags during that scene, I think, because there's so much, there's so many water speckles going on. I want to kill this guy again. Ha ha. I'm going to kill this guy again, too. Jeez. Deja vu, anyone? If this, if, if this guy drops a joy pen, then I'm seriously going to freak out. Then it'll be like, oh, did I do this before, or, or was I having a premonition? Ow, I'm on fire. Oh, we dropped a heart. Okay. Mm. Enemies tend to drop hearts more if you, like, um, if you actually need hearts. Like, if your health is depleted even a little bit. And I think they actually drop more hearts depending on how much, how much your health is depleted. Like, if my health was, if I was almost dead, he might have dropped three hearts there. I'm not entirely sure if that's how it works, but from what, from my experience, that's been what's happened. Alright, yeah, so now it's just a matter of working back to that boss room, I guess. Oh, but you know what? There is one thing that I actually need to go back for, and I should go back for it while I'm here, so I don't have to actually backtrack to this later in the game, because I'll probably forget. And if we use the warp pots, it shouldn't take us too long to get back there. Oh, I just passed an hour on my recording, look at that. And I haven't said a single outro in that whole time. And my phone's beeped three times in this recording. Jeez, that's what I get for not turning off the volume on that thing. Oh, well. Yeah, so you want to warp back to the beginning here. And, oh, by the way, if you want, you can actually use the grappling hook on these guys. And you steal their joy pendants from them. And then, if you leave the room and come back in... Dude, was that guy in the staircase for a second there? Yeah, if you leave the room and come back in, then you can use the grappling hook... The grappling hook on them again and get more joy pendants. So it's a really easy way to grind joy pendants. Dude, I, I saw more raw. What? Did I just imagine that? Or th Something killed a keese over there. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I. I s I've never seen that happen before. I have no idea what killed that keys. I just... I saw the purple fog and... I knew the... No. Oh. When I go back through that room, I'm gonna have to see what that was about. See if I can see what killed him. Man, that was weird. Anyways, this is the, this is the chest that I wanted to come back for. I think it's a treasure chart. Am I right? I am right. Look at that. And that's four phone beeps. Four! Four in the span of an hour, man. That's crazy. I don't know if you heard that one, though, because I was kind of talking loudly over it. Loudly and obnoxiously. You know me, always wanting to hear my own voice. Alrighty here. Uh, and I guess we'll just head back to the warp pot, but I want to see. I'm going to look right over at that, at where the keys are, and see what happened. Dude. I want, I want to know, did the other Keys kill him? Was it like a Keys genocide or a Keys murder? Or what the hell happened? I have no freaking clue. I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> Damn, that's going to be bothering me for the rest of like forever now. Until this video goes up anyways and then someone will tell me what killed him. Because I'm, I'm sure out of like the hundreds of people I'm going to get watching this, someone will know what killed him there. That can't be an experience that was unique to me alone. That a keys was killed there. <laughs> a keys died here today. 23 keys died in this dungeon today in the pursuit of a small key. 
Do you remember the piranha plant you roasted in 5-1? And were you there when his family received the news about their son? These minions clock in from 9 to 5 to provide for their wives, not knowing it'd be the last day of their lives. So light a candle for the Goombas that are crushed beneath your feet. Say a prayer for all the Octoroks that were sliced into men's meat. Give a shout out to the keys you killed just to open that locked door. Cause no one thinks about the minions anymore. <laughs> oh, was that a long enough solo for you? This is a Knight's Crest. You're gonna want to get these, by the way. At least ten of them you're gonna want to get, those Knight's Crests. And they're pretty rare to come by. I think that's literally the first one you can come across in the game. Later on, there's gonna be a point where you can actually get like nine or ten of them in a row, so don't worry about it too much. There's another Joy Pendant. How many does that make? Uh, 11 joy pendants. Jeez, normally I only have like 5 by this point because the enemies don't tend to drop them as often as they have been. Alright, we got a fairy here. Put that in a bottle if you want. I prefer my red potion personally. Oh, another fairy. Wow. Alright, uh, what are we up to? An hour and 4 minutes. I guess we can squeeze this boss battle in here. Let's see.